Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to create a 50 percentile core range and um, a polygon representing the 95th percentile uh, general range for the entire population of coyote points that we have. I've already done an extract values to points, um, which brings in uh, what we're looking at here is the kernel density surface and then the coyote locations. And then I ran extract value to points and pulled in the kernel density um, values into the point file for the coyotes. So I have this raster value field at the end. Now the way we're going to do this is a little bit manual. Um, the geospatial mo uh, modeling environments tool, the, uh, the what used to be Hoth's tool, um, I think is a, a bit slicker here. But we're going to do it in ARC, and so we're going to grunt through it a little bit. Um, the way we do it is we're going to figure out how many total records we have, 984, and we're going to calculate how many is half of those and how many is 95% of those. We're going to select that number of records and then just extract that value. But to do that, we have to sort the kernel density values descending order. So now they are from high to low. And then we're going to multiply this out. So from um, 984 records, we're going to multiply it by 0.5. And half of this number of records is 492. So I'm going to go ahead and select that many records, and I'm just using my shift. I'm going to go about halfway down, use my shift key, and I've just selected 468. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down until I have 492 of them. Really, really scientific, huh? And here's my, here's my raster value, my kernel density. And so I'm going to actually just write this down, 7.090382. And then I'm going to calculate um, 0.95 multiplied by my total number of records um, to get 95% of them, and that's 935. So I'm going to scroll down, and using the Shift key, I need to go a bit further, 935 is 95% of the points. So 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. So here's my other value. This is my 95%. So this is the, the density value representing 90, the 95%. So 0, I mean 0 0.553818. Okay. So now I can close this and uh, what we're going to do is use the reclassify tool, and we're going to reclassify the kernel density raster twice. Um, I'm just going to clear this, turn it off. So I'm going to use the reclassify tool, and we're going to put in the kernel density surface, and we want to pull from uh, the raster value, which I guess it's just Oh, it's the diff uh, of course, it's the value field in the raster. Um, here I only want two classes. And I want um, the break value to be, we'll do the 50% first. So that was the break value that I wrote down from the kernel density. And I want the low values to be no data. They're just going to go away, and I'm going to call these 50 because it's our 50th percentile. And we'll stick this here. Call it KDE 50. And run. Okay, so that ran successfully. And it's just now overlaid a new data set um, that's only the areas that are represented by the 50th percentile um, kernel density value and higher. And then we're just going to do it again and run it on the 95th percentile. So I'm going to put in the original kernel density, classify it in two classes. And this value is going to be the smaller one, 0.553818. And again, the lower ones are going to be no data. And the upper one we'll call 95. I'll call this one KDE95. Okay. Let that run pretty quick. 
So here are our two home ranges for the entire population. We've got our 95th percentile, this is our general home range, and then we've got our core home range in green. Um, and that's it.